जुगाड़ में कहा हम लोग ने क्रेग्स लिस्ट पे एक मस्त मेडिटेटिंग योगी बाबा ढूंढा जो मेलेबू में रहता था जिसका घर हमने क्रेग्स लिस्ट से सब लीज किया बिकॉज ही वॉज द ओनली वन हु वॉज विलिंग फॉर अस टू पे ऑन आर टर्म्स एंड नॉट ऑन हिस्स टर्म्स बिकॉज ही वॉज इज नाइस योगी बाबा who was a white guy who had turned to yoga for his life and when he saw two indian boys come to hollywood to try to make their future he was like chalo mere ghar pe le lo main mauka dunga <laughs> and the same way even the car i got from this nice guy sal, sal. salim chagan who was this indian origin guy whose entire family was from africa but he had run away to la and he saw these two indian boys who were struggling and who were trying to make a life for themselves and he like chalo main tumhare liye kuch sort kar gaadi lene ke baad bhi hum log mein bhi ekdam keede the na like okay you know for us for someone who's starting their career and life in uh, la ek kuch advice de do so we also want to prosper we also want to you know create a life here is like guys dekho baki sab chodo oh. remember one thing bro best so anyway hum log gaadi kharidte the usse we would go regularly this. to meet him just to get life advice from him because he was a self made man ghar se bhag gaya tha 16 18 saal ki umar mein and all he did was he came to la with nothing in his hand and worked hard and now he has multiple car showrooms there so for us like we wanted to learn we were like bro you came from nothing bata how do we do it so we would go and listen to stories and then he gave us life advice ek dum aisa bola and we were like bro ha le mein aa rahe hain hum log ka you know journey chalu hoga like guys money makes money kuch bhi kar lo life mein if you have money you invest it you do whatever you can put it in many places but if you need that first that little money to make more money and then we were like पेट्रोल पंप ही वॉज वर्किंग एज एन अटेंडेंट इन ऑफ दिन इलेवन अटैच पेट्रोल पंप एंड ही सेट वेन आई वॉज देयर द ओनर ऑफ दैट पेट्रोल पंप हैड मनी ही गॉट एन ऑपरचुनिटी इन एल ए टू बाय a property that was in a very bad he got a, he got lucky some friend of his called him some estate agent and said that there's a property at a very good price it's only for a million dollars like he bought it for a million dollars he didn't have the million dollars he did jugad he took a loan from somewhere got something sorted out got bought that property for a million dollars a My year and a half sal knew about the same opportunity he knew he about the same opportunity he but he didn't have the money obviously he is a worker he was like us <laughs> worker over there working on a per hour basis He was like he didn't he didn't have access to the money he couldn't do anything he said a year and a half later that owner sold that property for two and a half million dollars two and a half million dollars he did some renovation got whatever sorted paid off his loan for two and a half million dollars while this guy was working at the same petrol pump for twenty percent increment next year and he said it blew my mind. that just because it's not like the petrol pump owner had money he found a way to get that money he put it into the right opportunity he grew it and not only did he pay back the loan pay back everything else he made profit and he started another petrol pump like that and then again he had money to invest in any other startup in any other business and he said that blew my mind venture and he realized money makes money you like do whatever you can invest in the right opportunities invest in people invest in things invest in every possibility you can money will come and go but if you're just doing it for a salary or if you're just doing it for a monthly paycheck your growth will always be limited find whatever way and this guy started applying applying that philosophy sal chagan salim chagan and he started like he would literally go to people and he would find ways to get capital invested here grow it do everything started with small property flipping houses did whatever that he could to finally get to the point where in 2014 when we met him he had three car showrooms and one of the car showrooms we went into so we could buy a second hand car which was already 10 years old a 10 uh, 10 year old audi convertible that was very run down which we said we will fix so that we will have a nice car convertible car to drive in la and that's the story yeah. of how sal that's the story sal. of sal, sal. before o- sal og sal the og From sal LA. our dear friend salim chagan like he he would teach us about bro i didn't know driving because that was the first time when i went there left hand drive tha i didn't know how to drive i bought the car from him bahut pyar se he is asking me Have you ever driven left hand before? 
and I'm like, <laughs> he said, I'll help you. He got into the car with me. He gave me a two hour driving lesson. Got me to drive around, did full practice, sat with me in the car, sub karke, sub karke, uske baad, he was like, here, now it's your car. 